Homes were damaged everywhere, but perhaps none more so than in Hubbard Township. Here is Alan Ross. The Twister's path of destruction through Hubbard Township began at the Warner Road and ripped eastward here through Kohlberg Center, leveling or causing damage to scores of homes along the way. It then touched down in Kermont Heights, where police say at least 50 houses in the development were hit. Save for their patio and their surrounding pines, Ray and Eli Bosdog's home was spared nature's fury. I have two ants that live in Warren, and I just want to let them know that we're just fine. We're a little shaken, but our, we, our homes are intact. Others here on White Oak Drive weren't so lucky. Roofs blown off some, walls caved in on others. Like in The Wizard of Oz, this house was spun off its foundation, landing some 15 yards away. Fortunately, the Fedorchik family wasn't home for the ride. Like most of the residents on this and other streets in the area, Joseph Trollio spent much of today cleaning up. But last night, he and his wife made it to their cellar just in time. The roof just took off and put the light into the, the cellar way, and I got it on the steps, and we got behind the steps. The minute we hit there, it was over. But a couple of seconds it took. Pretty crazy, huh? Oh, okay. I've never seen anything like this in my life. You know, 60-some years, I've seen uh, tidal waves and typhoons over in the uh, South Pacific. Nothing like this. Nothing. Early this evening, the National Guard was notifying residents of the impending 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. curfew, a move here, as in other areas, to protect against the possibility of looting. An Ohio State Highway Patrolman told us there had been reports of such incidents occurring here last night. With destruction and debris almost as far as the eye could see, residents in this section of Hubbard Township were counting their blessings. No serious injuries were reported in Kermont Heights. The house you can replace, but our lives are more important. And I'm thankful to God that we survived. In all, 326 buildings, mostly houses, were either damaged or destroyed in Hubbard Township. It took crews 11 days to open all township roads and haul away the debris. Like other communities, Hubbard Township has waived fees for building permits for those affected by the storm. If there was any good to come from all of this, it was the renewed spirit of cooperation between people. Help came from family members, next door neighbors, and even from total strangers. We'll take a look at that spirit when we come back.